Hi, this is Roger Eastlick, and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you and demonstrate Backup Buddy to you. It is Backup Buddy is a WordPress plugin which allows you to backup and restore, move, migrate all of your websites. I'm going to show that to you today. Um, some of the cool things about Backup Buddy is it does help you backup and restore your sites very easily. It also um, can be configured to be used with FTP or you can email the backup if it's small. Um, you can configure it for cloud services such as Amazon Web Services which are just you know off off-site storage um, we can get to them from anywhere and it's large storage so you don't have to have everything on your physical hard drive it gives you a little bit more redundancy. There's also uh, you can configure it for Dropbox or with uh, the Rackspace Cloud. Um, easy to restore if you got a broken or hacked site, or if you do a sandbox type installation like I do, where you're constantly stop installing and reinstalling, modifying stuff, creating templates. Then it makes it so it's really easy to switch between your different installations very quickly, tweak something, make a new re and make a new backup, and then restore it again. Um, very very cool. Another thing I really like about it is if you're going to sell templatized websites, then um, you can give your client just a couple files, uh, the backup file and uh, a little file called importbuddy.php and along with a password and they can easily install your templatized site um, basically on any uh, hosting server um, with just a couple clicks and they don't have to go and and uh, install WordPress they don't have to configure really anything they all they have to do is really put in the pass copy a couple files put in the password and um, do the installation basically um, so that's some of the features. Actually, I think there's a sale. This is being made on uh, September 26, 2012. There's actually a sale um, until the 30th. You can get 30% off. Um, two licenses cost you $75. That's the full price. Ten licenses cost you 100 Or if you're really just going to use it a lot, then you go ahead and get the unlimited license for $150. You can use it on as many sites as you own. Um, you don't really have to worry about buying additional licenses at that point. Like I say up here, it says there's a 35%. I'm sorry, 35% off of everything if you use the IT member 35 until September 30. So that's uh, four days. If you happen to see this before September 30th, then uh, you should really jump on that. Allow you to buy the. Um, the unlimited site license really cheaply. Okay, so let's go over to my sandbox site. This is a just a regular install of uh, WordPress. And I'm going to go over here to my dashboard and uh, go over here to plugins and add new. And then I'm click on upload and choose file. Then I'm going to navigate over to my folder. This is my desktop folder. I have Backup Buddy zip folder. I'm going to click on Open. And I'm going to click on Install Now. And it gives me, it's going to install the Backup Buddy, buddy, backup buddy plugin. And I'm going to go ahead and activate that plugin. And here it is activated. I already have a license. I'll show you the licensing. How you license it actually when I do the uh, restore, I believe. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to do a backup. So what we're going to do is if you go over here, you notice once it's installed, you've got it here. Over here to the left, you've got a backup buddy section. And then you can go down here to backup and click on backup. And I'm going to do a complete backup. So I'm going to click on complete backup. And now you can see up here it says um, backup is complete. You can download your backup. If we go ahead and download that backup, we can also put that on the uh, 
put that on the desktop. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a folder here. We'll call this folder Backup Buddy. In that folder, I'm going to put my backup file. And there's one other thing you need to do is you need to go over here to the Backup Buddy settings. Over here in the left hand side, click on settings. And then it's going to want to import buddy password. So, I mean, you know, normally you do a, you want to do something that's secure. We're just going to make it password for right now. And we're going to go down here to the bottom and click on save settings. Good with that. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to want to if when we do a migrate restore we are going to want to download this import buddy file so I'm going to click on download and I'm going to install that in my desktop folder along with my other file okay now I've got import buddy PHP file and my backup zip file that I created with um, Backup Buddy. Now all I need to do is to, I'm going to go to another site. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to go into, I'm going to go into a control panel and you can go to control panel by just typing the domain name you've got if you're in a good web host like CoSkater and then forward slash C-P-A-N-E-L enter Rid of this. Okay, you want to want to put in your credentials here. Get you to the, your C panel should look something like this. This is the HostGator control panel, and I'm going to go down here to the file manager. Click on file manager. I'm going to go to the root directory. Click on go. And what I'm going to do is I am going to actually create a subdirectory. So I'm going to go ahead and click on New Folder. I'm going to call this Test. Creating a new folder. And there it is right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the Test folder. It's empty. I am going to upload those a couple files. I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to go down to my Backup Buddy folder. And I'm going to grab... I don't think I can grab two at a time. No, we can't. So I'm going to grab the first one. I'm going to grab my backup file. And that is being uploaded at this point. It's 10 megs for just a base install. And that's just going to take a few seconds here at uh, 500k a second. Okay, that's complete. Now we're going to click on choose file again. We're going to click on import buddy and click on open. And that'll be a lot faster. So that one's done. We're all done with that, so don't need this anymore. Now if we do a refresh here, or reload, you'll see I've got two files in the um, sandbox test directory. Now all we need to do is go go with our browser to our sandbox we're going to type in our so our path which is sandbox.com sandboxwp.com forward slash test forward slash import import buddy dot php and hit enter it wants authentication we're going to type in the, our password which was password and click on authenticate All right. Now it shows that we've got our database. We that we've got our backup right here. Okay. There is one more thing that we need to do, and that is in the control panel. Fortunately, I'm already logged in. But you're going to go back to your control panel, and you are going to want to create a database. 
So to do that, inside the control panel, we're going to go down here to the MySQL database wizard. Click on that. Uh, we're going to create a test folder. Call it test back BB for backup buddy. Next step. Click on that. We're going to create a user. I always um, name them the same thing. It makes it easier to find. So we're going to call it uh, test BB. Then it's going to want a password. And you want to type in a password there. Alright, and now what we're going to do is do, we're going to click on create user. And now what you want to do is click on all privileges and click on next step. Alright, so now we have created a, a um, database called Dudalian. That's just, that's just the way it's going to be. If you do HostGator, whatever your username is, it's going to give you that by default. You could actually well, no, actually, you can't change that part. So whatever that, and that's going to be underscore, and then whatever your name is. You want to grab the whole thing, copy that, go over here to Import Buddy, and what we're going to do is click on Next Step. It's going to unzip the files, click on Next Step. And now it's going to say, okay, what's the address? Well, the address is the sandboxwp.com forward slash test. All right, we're going to do that. Um, it's got some junk in here from something else. I guess what it was before. Um, we're going to go ahead and just, just right-click and paste our new database and database user in here. All right, and we're going to type in the password for the database. That's all you need to do. You can click on Test Database Settings, which you actually have to do. And it says Success Everywhere, and click on Next Step. Import, um, we've imported the database. We're going to click on Next Step. Okay, it's complete. Now it says you can go ahead and click on the, this link that they give you. See if the, and there we go. We've got the exact same database. It didn't really have much in there, but we have the same thing that we have. Now we've got another installation that's under sandbox wp forward slash test. You want to go back to your import buddy one more time, and what you're going to want to do is this is very important. Um, click on clean up and remove temporary files. It create it's going to get rid of your backup archive and your import buddy script, so nobody else can you know mess around with it. Just click on that. And there you go, and um, you've just done yourself a full install. You click on the, uh, the link below this video, you can get uh, Backup Buddy, and you can start backing up your, your websites. This is Roger Rieslick. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.